So let's have a look at one of the most challenging areas with inside networking and that's related to root summarization. So in this, this presentation we'll, be, we'll have a look at how we can summarize various routes into a single uh, address. So you should find if you look in profsims.com there'll be a whole range of challenges and tests and so on that you can actually complete. Okay, so let's make a start. So here we have our host. So on the internet, uh, each host has an IP address that is either routable or non-routable, public or private. And that IP address typically has a network part and a host part. And what we find is that the network part is used by these little devices here. These are routers. And routers communicate with each other and tell each other the best way to get to a destination. Okay, so if we just draw a little network here. Okay, so all these routers are communicating with each other, telling each other what's the, what's the best way, using different metrics such as hop counts or bandwidth or latency and so on. So the host part is really only used to route the data packets across these interconnected devices. So they only look at the, the network part. Okay, we'll have a look at how that is defined. And then the host part is the bit that's used to, to route the last little bit. Okay, so here's an example IP address. There we go, 172.16.10.20. And to define the network part, we define what's called the subnet mask. Okay, so in this case, the subnet mask is 255.255.128.0. And in IP addresses, we use a binary format, and we convert that into integers. Okay, so there's an example of our binary. So we have a 10110100. That's a 128 plus a 32 plus a 16 plus a 4, which gives us 180. Okay, and this way we have bytes that we convert into integers. Okay, so if we now convert the first IP address, this is what we get. Okay, so 172 is actually 10101100. 16 is 0, 0, 0, 16, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and so on. And then what we do is we take our subnet mask. So for each device to know what's the network part and what's the host part, we then draw out our network, subnetwork, subnet mask. And with a subnet mask, a 1 identifies the network part and a 0 identifies the host part. So in this case, we can see that we have 17 ones and then the rest are zeros. Okay, 15 zeros. So then what we do is that we use the binary operation of an AND and we take each bit at a time. So 0, 0 gives a 0, 0, 1 gives a 0, a 1 and a 0 gives a 0, and a 1 and a 1 gives us a 1. Okay. So basically what happens is whenever there's a 1 in the subnet mask, that bit value carries through. And whenever there's a 0, then it is blanked off it as, as a 0. Okay, so let's see what the result is. Okay, so we write out these. These all come through. This one will come through. And then these all get blanked out as 0. So that's our resultant network address. So this is the part that the routers will look at. And if we do the calculation, that ends up as 172, 16. So we can see there's a 1 in the 16 position, and then a 0, .0. .0. That is defined as the network address. Okay, So that's the network that this device connects to. And then this part here gives us our subnet mask. In this case, we can actually also define it with a, a number. So we say slash 17, which defines 17 bits of the address is the network part, the rest is the host part. So this is often a way that we actually define the network and the subnet mask. Okay, so let's look at a practical example. So let's say that uh, we have Washington and let's draw Baltimore. And we also have Philadelphia and we'll draw New York. Okay, that'd be quite complicated to be able to define all the routes 
that we need to take to go to New York, Washington, Philadelphia and, and Baltimore. So let's draw our routes. Let's say there's a route from New York to Washington, a route to Baltimore and a route to Philadelphia. So it would be much easier if we could actually define how we got to Washington, to ba Baltimore or Philadelphia. And what we can see is that we could summarize all the routes to say that we just have to go to New York and from New York we'll be able to find our way to uh, Washington, Baltimore and Philadelphia. So this is really what happens in terms of our route summarization. We summarize a whole lot of networks into one and it really keeps it much simpler in terms of the routing where the routing tables become easier to, to maintain and to be able to communicate. An example here, if we want to go to Washington, Philadelphia or Baltimore, then they will be advertised as go to New York. Once we're at New York, then we obviously can then route into Washington, Baltimore and Philadelphia and so on. This makes for a much simpler internet. Okay, so let's now look at the method that we use to actually summarize our network addresses. Okay, so here's our router again. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out how we can advertise a route so that we can summarize our, all the different routes and to get to them. Okay, so let's do one route here and let's call it 100.19.0.0. There's another one, 100.18.0.0. And then we'll have another one here and we'll make that 117.00. And then the last one. 100.16.0.0. We don't have to worry too much about the subnet mask here because we're actually going to reduce this down uh, into a new subnet mask to summarize the route. Okay, so let's look at our addresses and we'll draw them out. So there's our 16 address, let's, there's the 17, there's our 18, and there's our 19 address. Okay, there's our network addresses. Let's quickly draw these out. Okay, so that's 100, first byte, then 16, 0, 0. Now let's do the 17 address. We'll just add one onto then to the second byte. The third one, add a 2 on, and then the fourth one. Okay, so there's our addresses. So that's what we do. We write down all the addresses, all the network addresses that we're going to summarize. And now what we do is we just draw a line here. Okay. So what we need to do is to, is to move that line along until we find a spot that the network addresses start to change. Okay, so let's do that. We'll move it to there and here we are. Okay, at this point on the left hand side, the addresses are the same. And on the other side, the different 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, so at this point, we can actually write out the new summarized network address. And then we can obviously ignore the rest of it because it, it doesn't actually matter. Only when we get to these networks will it break out into the other networks. But the first part there is the part that really matters for our root summarization. Okay, so let's see how we can actually drive this. Okay, so we're going to take this example again. Okay, so there we go. This is the result that we got. That was the network part and then that was the host part for our summarization. So now what we'll do is that we'll break them out into their bytes again for octets. Okay, so there we go. And then we've got zero. Now what we'll do is we'll convert this into a summarization address. That's a hundred. This one is a sixteen. This one is a zero. And this one is a zero. So we can write out the root summarization. Now what we do is that we take the number of bits that have been summarized, in this case 
we have 8 and then a 6, that's 14, 14 bits then in our summarization. So then what we can do is that we can then say that the result is 14. So that is our summarized network uh, address. This will summarize all four of those addresses into one. And then we can advertise that to other devices if they need to find that route, then send it to this router and then it will be able to route onto the networks from there by now modifying the subnet mask to be different from 14, possibly 16. So if you want to have a look at the examples, uh, a whole lot of examples, we have a whole lot at this address here. Okay, so it's profsim slash ip root I, slash ip slash root sim. So you should find when you go there, there is a calculator that you can actually use and then you can put in either individual addresses or a range of addresses and it will calculate the root summarization for you. Okay, so that's giving you a quick overview of root summarization.